someone must have talked to you in order for you to see this video. If someone shared the information about cryptocurrency and you've got questions about what is Bitcoin. The idea of this particular video is to go through and help you understand what is Bitcoin and more importantly, what are blue chip cryptocurrencies. So there's over 8,000 choices of cryptocurrency out there now. So blue chips are the ones that I focus on. My name's Andrew Squalari. I'm a crypto asset strategist. I've been involved with cryptocurrency for five years. I love the blue chip coins because they give me the most security in cryptocurrency. They give me great liquidity. If I need to draw money back out into the bank account, I can do that very easy. And we do know the trend for these particular coins are very good. So we do know that we're not gonna be promising you a million percent interest like some coins do. We're gonna promise you some good solid growth, medium to long-term. So there's no bad time to buy crypto in my world. I'm not a investment, it's not investment advice, financial advice or trading advice. Go see a appropriately qualified financial advisor or an accountant about some advice specifically relating to your personal circumstances. Tax advice is very important, but if they do not have cryptocurrency and they're giving you advice on cryptocurrency, make sure they do have cryptocurrency. If they don't, then their advice doesn't count in my opinion. What is a blue chip cryptocurrency? It's a token or a coin that has a long history and a large market cap. So Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, have been around the longest. They are the largest coins in the industry. Bitcoin's over 60%. And when you can factor in Litecoin and Ethereum, that's like 90% of the market of those three coins. It's also a token or a coin that's being used by institutional investors or retail payment platforms. So we'll talk a bit about that soon. It's a token or a coin that has multiple exchange system, which uses multiple exchange systems globally. So it's on lots of exchanges and it's around, and it's easy for you to transfer your Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum between other exchanges. And it's a token or a coin, most importantly for you, that's got high liquidity. So you can convert it back to cash really easy. And that's an important thing for everyone to be able to access their coin. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is talk about Bitcoin first. So what is Bitcoin? Back in 2009, there was a, a peer review paper written about peer-to-peer -peer electronic payment system. So Bitcoin's initial use case was an alternative, alternative currency transfer medium. It was just different to normal cash. It was just a different way of sending it. We now refer to it as digital gold. It growth potential, growth potential is exponential. We have a lot of growth potential. Of course, with all currencies, the future price will plateau. If anyone says Bitcoin's gonna to go to 50,000, 100,000 or $1 million, they're probably right, but we just don't know the time frame for that to particular happen. So, you know, we are going to have it plateau at some point in the future when everyone has access to cryptocurrency. And the future of cryptocurrency in Bitcoin is there's more adoption happening every day, better technology happenings every day. So this has got, of course, a long way to go before it gets bigger. So it was created in October 2009. They've got a total market cap of 21 million coins. There's a circulating supply of 18 and a half million coins. There's a possible 48,000 Bitcoins to be created every day. The average mind is 928 brand new Bitcoins put into the market every day, valued at $25,500. You can do the maths and see what that value is. The block speed is every 10 minutes, a new block of Bitcoin is verified. The big thing to remember is 4 million of these coins have been lost. That is something that you have to factor into your risk management strategy, how you are storing your Bitcoin. And the last Bitcoin ever mined will be in 144 years, 80% of all the Bitcoins available to the world will be mined in the next 20 years. So realistically, the ones that are in the market now are predominantly the amount of that's gonna be in the market. As people lose more coins, what's going to happen is the price is going to rise. Now, if you look at this little spreadsheet here of the price rises per year since 2010, wouldn't you have loved to bought a Bitcoin at 0.0015 of a cent? That year, it grew 20,000%. The next year, 1,893%, went from 31 cents up to $6. Now we've had some great years in cryptocurrency, you know, 5,000% back in 2013. That was the, the baby boom of cryptocurrency back then. That's a baby boom there. And then we had the crash, the 1,300% in 2017. That was the adoption boom. Sorry, the awakening boom when lots of people heard about crypto and Bitcoin. 
And then of course, 2018, where it crashed and burned, we started moving forward. We're up 164% this year. And 2021 is gonna be even more exciting. So the reason why Bitcoin has gone the way it's gone this year is because the major financial institutions are getting involved in cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is being used by Fidelity, BlackRock, Grayscale, and the Chinese banking system. Also the consumer platforms like Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Facebook, and Australia Post are all heavily involved in cryptocurrency as well. So we are seeing more and more value going into cryptocurrency, of course. The value is going up because we are now experiencing this big second wave of adoption of institutional support, retail support, and your support. So Bitcoin is growing in value. Now let's move over to Litecoin. So Litecoin is my favorite because it's fast and cheap to transfer. And it's of the cheapest of the three blue chip coins. The creator was a guy called Charlie Lee. He was a Google computer engineer. October 2011, it was created and put out in the marketplace. So it's been around for a long time. So it's got a lot of market flow. It's got a market cap of 84 million coins, valued at $5 billion. The good thing about this, I didn't really know, is it trades every day $3 billion worth of trade. So when you consider its market cap of $5 billion, it's trading three every day. So this coin is used a lot in cryptocurrency trading. And the block speed is two and a half minutes. So it's very quickly verified each and every transfer that's used with the Litecoin network. The recent use case is faster, cheaper transactions of Bitcoin. That's why Charlie Lee upgraded Bitcoin and created a new cryptocurrency called Litecoin because Bitcoin was just too slow in his view. And of course it is correct because Bitcoin is a 10 second block. Litecoin is two and a half. It's viewed as the digital silver. So Bitcoin's digital gold, we are viewed as digital silver. Its growth potential is exponential. The all time high back in 2017 got to nearly $500 a coin. We're sitting at $100 a coin now. So we do expect this to get back to where it was at some point into the future. Of course, it is a currency, so it will plateau. I don't know if it'll settle at 500 or 5,000. We'll be alive to see it, but let's say uh, we've got some to see whatever price it will end, end up at. In the future, there'll be more adoption, bigger technology upgrades as well. So lots of good stuff happening in Litecoin. It is one of those solid blue chip coins. Now, the Grayscale Trust. This is a trust put out by Grayscale, one of the largest uh, fund managers in the world. This is the Grayscale Trust. Now, what you're seeing there is a, the share of that trust worth $200. So because a lot of people with a lot of money don't have the intelligence, motivation, or tech ability to store cryptocurrency, they're using the Grayscale Trust to store their money in Litecoin. So one of these shares is worth $200, even though Litecoin is worth $100. So this is what people are paying. This is what they believe that's going to happen with Litecoin. So Grayscale Trust is one of the biggest purchases of Litecoin in the world. Also, PayPal is now selling Litecoin through their services in the US, and that will be expanded globally. So that's also driven the price of Litecoin up from the low $70 to over $100 right now. And why Litecoin is so attractive? Because it's a decentralized, market-valued, trusted economy coin. It's got a long history and it fits into the future of payment strategies. It does fit in. It's not a competitive. Um, it's designed for the retail market. It's not designed for banks and the bank coins will be uh, looked at digitally with uh, central bank coins and the IMF coins. So this is more for the retail market. We will love it because it's decentralized, it's market valued, and it's got a trusted long history. The last of the coins I want to talk about tonight is Ethereum. I like Ethereum a lot because if we've got Apple or Android, there's uh, no one's going to agree that each one's better. But with Ethereum, it's the best code for what we do there. Its use case is smart contracts. I'm not going to go into that tonight, but it's a smart contract coin. It's used as a validator of other cryptocurrencies. So giving them a start point to verify their networks. The coin name is actually called Ether, E-T-H, it's Ether. Its growth potential, again, is exponential. Who knows where it's going to end up? It was at $1,950 a few years ago. Now we're sitting at $730. So it's possibly going to go up a lot more than what it is right now. It did in the past, so why wouldn't it in the future? Again, its value will plateau, as all currencies do. And the future is the big one. It's the Internet 2.0. They're going to move over to a new technology very soon, which is going to use less power and allow other cryptocurrencies to connect up with it a lot easier and consume less power. 
So created in July 2015, there's no market cap. This is not like Ethereum and Litecoin. They can many, make as many as they need for the platforms to work properly. There's a circulating supply of 113 million coins at the moment, but the most important thing is a 13 second block. So every 13 seconds, the block moves and all those transactions in that block get verified. At the moment, it's proof of work, but they're moving over to a proof of stake, which uses dramatically less power. So what that really means is if you hold this coin, you get paid in Ethereum for just holding it. It's like interest. So the more Ethereum you hold, the more you earn by just holding those coins. So again, Grayscale is one of the biggest purchases of Ethereum as well. Um, they bought $266 million worth of Ethereum. Bitcoin the other day at $58, worth, $58 million worth of Ethereum very recently. So it is growing exponentially. Their trust is $117.50 per share in their Ethereum trust. So that is adding a lot of value to the Grayscale um, Ethereum trust. And there's over 140% new Ethereum addresses this year. The decentralized finance world will operate off the Ethereum network. So there's a lot more people getting involved with Ethereum because of the DeFi, which is happening. And that is adding a lot more value to Ethereum, of course, which adding more value to the world. And we will be able to provide alternative financial instruments using the Ethereum code. Blue chip cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum provide a great hedge against impending financial disruptions. I think we've experienced some of that this year but we're going to continue to experience a lot more through 2021. They have high liquidity, so you can either convert them back into fiat easily or use them in place of fiat as most of us will be doing buying goods and services with our cryptocurrency. A portfolio of these three investments in 2020 has been the best investment in cryptocurrency to date um, without the risk of actually picking one coin and hoping it's gonna go up the best. And the trend through 2021 and beyond is very, very exciting for the blue chip coins. One of the best products that I've seen around is the Daxi Blue Chip Bundle. It's uniquely designed to give you three blue chip coins and the Daxi exchange coin called the Daxi coin. It has a solid use case in crowd finance, interlinking over 100 exchanges in the next five years. So the Daxi coins are good exchanges coin as well. The Daxi Blue Chip Bundle has consistently proven to be the best portfolio investment in crypto to date. So that is why I like portfolio investing. We don't risk on just buying one individual coin you can actually hedge your bets, hedge against inflation and buy a bundle. Thank you very much for being open to learn. I hope this helps you understand a bit more about Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and portfolio investing. Plan for the future, take action now. If you want to know more information, go to daxi.com. The What We Do tab is specifically designed for customers. Get back to the person that advises you to watch the video tonight. Get back to the person that you believe is going to help you most understand about cryptocurrency. Learn before you spend Take the rest of your time. Take care. Bye-bye.